All right, today I want to talk to you about something that's really serious. It's about tire pressure and tires in general. When you buy an, uh, any trailer in general, I believe they all put on the, a cheaper version of tires. I can only speak from experience. Airstream does a pretty good job. They put on good tires from the factory on the initial purchase. The important thing to remember is tires are very important. One of the things I, I talked about about a year ago in one of my videos was the importance of a tire pressure monitoring system. Ours, use this one here. This is a, a TST tire pressure monitoring system. A lot of people will tell you, hey, it's not that important. You know, if you get a blowout, there's nothing you could do. You know, it's going to happen. And by the time one of these tire pressure monitoring system reads it, the tire's already blown. It's too late. And there is some truth to that. But I'm going to have to tell you, in our experience with our system, we've had it uh, about three times where we had slow leaks. Now, you're just looking at the tire. You can't tell sometimes that the tire pressure down 10, 20 pounds. In our situation right now, it's down about 20 pounds. We have a slow leak in one of our tires. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, we had one when we were in Oregon, we hit a nail, had a slow leak, which would have been fine. But if you, if that slow leak would have gotten worse and you're out in the middle of nowhere and uh, you have to deal with this stuff, that could be a bad thing. Fortunately for us, we were close to a tire pressure uh, to a place that could fix the tires. But what's going on in our situation right now is that we do have a slow leak. There's no hole in the tire, but over a period of two or three days, we lose about 20 pounds of pressure. 20 pounds of pressure in your tires could be bad. When you just look at the tire, it looks like it has the proper, the proper tire pressure. Just looking at it, it doesn't look low. And uh, again, I'm not here to make this a big deal, but you know, some people go, well, so big deal, or some people have, everybody has an opinion about something. But I'm just telling you, I don't personally like to run that way. I like to run my tire pressure equal on all the tires. I like to monitor the pressure in each tire. Uh, I've seen plenty of blowouts on these things where people are driving down the road, they have blowouts. It's a little thing to deal with it when it's a small problem, but it's a big deal to deal with it when it's out in the middle of nowhere or you have a blowout it's just bad. So it's better to take care of these things in advance. That can happen if you have cheap tires. It could happen if you have good tires, but you want to minimize the chance of something going bad. So in our particular situation, you know, we have a slow leak. And today I got to take the trailer over to uh, America's Tire where I bought these tires and I bought really good tires. They're uh, Goodyear Endur Enduras, Enduro, Enduras, Endurza. I don't know what they, I'll look it up. They're good tires though. And in fact, when I tried to switch them one time, they said, no, you know what? You might as well just go with those. Those are really good tires. Don't try to switch it up and get a different brand or a different size or whatever I was trying to do at the time. All that to say, on top of that, is that we also have a um, system where you can put air into the tires mobily. So when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can put tire air in the tire, which I guarantee you before we leave today, I'm going to have to do. And I'll give you a little example of what happens when the tire pressure system alarms and shows you where you have low pressure in the tires. And maybe I'll cover some other things that I'm missing, but we'll take you along as we deal with this thing today. Here we go. So this is what happens. It's a little noisy, but as you can see, it cycles around and it's showing that the right rear is low. It's at 56 pounds. Normally I run this at about 75 pounds, 75 to 80 pounds. It tells you the temperature of the tire, and this is what happens. It shows low pressure. This is very important. I'm going to see if I can stop this. So when, right before we leave on a trip, we turn that on and make sure all the pressure is good. So as you can see, that's why it works well. Um, that is something you definitely want before you get out on the road. Sorry to bore you with this information, but it, it is really important. I wouldn't want to see anybody out there get hurt because if a tire or their rig gets seriously damaged, if a tire blows while you're going down the road and that thing's spinning at 70 miles an hour, that tire, it'll go up under your rig and just tear it up. If you're living a lot in your rig, you don't have time for this thing to go out and just, you know, oh, I don't need my rig for two, three months, well, maybe longer, depending on who fixes your rig. So, blah. So we're going to deal with that again. I just want to show you that. This is what we're having to deal with these last few days. Every time we go to move, we have to put air in this tire. Well, that's exciting, huh? How much did it lose last night, or at least last couple about days? 20 pounds. Okay. Two days. How okay. many days? It seems it? about consistent yeah. with what it's been doing. Anyways, so that's what you do. You, you have to fill this up 
but this is a lifesaver. It's called Viair, V-A-I-R. And I highly suggest you get one of these. If you're driving anywhere, you need to get uh, your tires inflated. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You can raise the power off of your truck. Your plugs right into your battery. We actually cool. helped somebody when we were in some other state. They had That's a flat and, their, and they didn't ha their spare didn't have air and we stopped and were able to fill up their tires. So. That's true. It's a good thing to have. Was that in Utah? That was in Utah. I think so, yeah. Okay, so we're over at America's Tire and we are waiting for them to go ahead and work on the tire. They said it'd take about an hour and a half. Maybe we'll see. They're already going to start working on it, which is great. Get me in and out of here. But I want to show you something really quick, and that is this Viair system. Now, this is portable. Comes with a little compressor on the inside, air hoses. The guy's here to work on it, so I'm going to go back outside. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear me, because that car wash is right back there, and it's noisy. Yeah, but you got to make sure when you jack these up that you're on these certain jack-up spots. This guy seems to be very knowledgeable and concerned as he's doing it right, so I'm pretty happy. And I'm happy they're getting right on it, so that's good. Okay, great. So apparently there's a nail that none of us were able to find. And these are the types of things I was talking about. It's, they're, you know, sometimes you don't even see these things. They're really small holes, little nail, a nail will go in, come out. Anyways, back to that by air. They're a couple hundred dollars. They're totally worth it. Just as important as getting good tires, which cost more than, you know, you can buy cheaper tires, but buy good tires, get the warranties. I've, I can't, we've probably had, uh, I don't even know, four tire issues that we've had so far. Usually it's just nails. You know, just going along the side of the road, you can hit a nail, pull into a parking lot, get a nail. I can't even tell you how many campsites I've gone into where I'm walking around picking up nails out of the literal camp spot. Why would there be nails? I picked up pieces, shards of metal, all kinds of stuff. So you're gonna run to these things. Most of you people know this stuff already, but if you're new, just to keep the keep an eye out for these types of things, I'm sure this is gonna be fixed and we're gonna be on our way really quick. So I am very satisfied with that. Hopefully, if I'm not, I'll be back and I'll let you know. Okay, I just wanted to say America's Tire did a great job in taking care of me. They got me in and out of there really fast. It was all taken care of under warranty. And uh, as far as the Vi Air goes, that too, you can buy on Amazon. Uh, and they run it. The system that I purchased runs about $350. The important thing about that is to make sure that you get the system that has the ability to put the proper pressure into your rig. So if you have like maybe a class A and they may need maybe a hundred pounds of pressure in the tire, the system that I have can do that. You, if you only have small tires on your rig and maybe they only need 50 pounds, 70 pounds, you may be able to get away with a little bit less. I suggest you don't go with the cheap, get more than you need. You may also be able to help somebody in need if you're at a campground or someplace else. So that's a good thing also. This is not a normal video for us. Uh, it is more of an informational video. Um, we are still in our rig. One thing I did want to mention from that last campsite that you saw us in where I was putting air into the tire, we had to leave. This is another thing I talk about. You have to be flexible. The reason why we had to be flexible this particular time is that uh, my son-in-law, his grandfather passed away. So they had to get on a plane and get to the funeral. So fortunately for us, um, we were in the area and we were able to help them. This is what's going on with them. They do fly back today and uh, we'll be back in our rig again. And in fact, I believe we'll be sleeping in our rig tonight. All that to say, thank you so much for following us along. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because that's real important. It helps the uh, algorithm that YouTube has. So we do thank you. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. And we will be making another video really soon. Like always, until the next video, take care of yourself, be safe, and as always, Peace.